Welcome to our session. I invite you to sit comfortably. Close your eyes. Take a gentle breath in and exhale. Inhale a gentle breath. <clears throat> Once again, exhale completely. Align your spine, the neck and the head in a straight line for a comfortable seated position. continuous flow of energy. With every breath you take, witness the awareness dropping away from sense objects. Sight turns inside. Your hearing turns inwards. All your senses moving their focus from the outside towards. side towards the energy flow within you. Observing life force with every breath, <clears throat> witness this love in motion. <clears throat> with growing awareness, more peaceful you are. Good Devo Mahesh. 
wisdom of the plains, to the wisdom of pure love. In everything created, you teach me. In everything sustained, you show me the way. In every moment of distraction, creation you purify me ajnana timirandasya jananjana shalakaya chakshurun melitam Dhyanamuram Gurur Murti Pujamuram Gurur Padam Mantra Mulam Gurur Vakyam Moksha Mulam Gurur Kripa Panchaya Shantaya Sri Chivanandaya Te Namaha Sri Vishnu Devanandaya Te Namaha Parvati Devi Pita Devo Maheshwara Dhandava Shiva Bhaktascha Swadesho Bhavanatrayam Om Nama Parvati Sweet.
together in a prayer position and I witness leaping up my energy field. For all that we are and all that we are to become. loved ones and all of our relations we give thanks to this circle and this moment and this place we give thanks Another breath, inhaling, and as we exhale, we can open our eyes and bring our awareness of what it feels like to observe what's around me and recognize that spark of light and that jam of wisdom that is there. Everything I see is there to show me, to teach me, to work with me. If that is the case, everything, every object is a teacher, could be. Just something to think about that, you know, when, as you are open to learning and you're asking and the prayer is, you know, let me, let me see more, let me understand better, let me have a better capacity to accept the greatness of this philo philosophical, uh, idea that we are one that this place is made of love you know there are so many things during the day that pull our attention and our sensual uh, our senses to to prove us the opposite so we're asking you know I see this I understand that there is duality here let me see beyond it you know and that is that takes practice because if you want to see beyond duality, you have to be able to ask a question. You have to be able to walk around with a question around your head, around you, and not a, a statement of clarity. Because here I am, I'm open to learning something new. Therefore, I come humble into every situation, and I do not put myself in the situation. Rather than, rather, I observe the situation and try to suck it in to me and see what is. What is the best approach? What can I learn from it? What is, the, what is the process here for me? Otherwise, we would not come across situations that trigger us, that put us in, you know, into doing things or stop doing other things. That just wouldn't happen. The reason why all of our situations are there is for us to learn from them, not for them to change, but for us to change inside them, which will then result in an outside change, in a betterment of our day-to-day -day experience. But again, always because it's coming from within, never, you know, the happiness is never really outside. Otherwise, we would all be happy from the same things. It's always something from the inside reflected on different things. If I remember that, if I'm able to observe that and remember that, I am a happier person by default because I understand that that happiness walks with me it has nothing to do with whatever just something to think about I wish you a wonderful day <laughs>